so this is problem number 8 on resolution and composition of forces that is to determine the resultant force acting on the structure at point O both in magnitude and direction so this is a, a dam structure actually for this dam there are two forces acting one is 600 Newton force and 800 Newton force for this we have to find resultant force okay we have to find resultant of both these two forces to find the resultant we need to find sigma fx and sigma fi uh, to write sigma fx or to calculate sigma fx and sigma fi we need components of uh, the forces so we need a horizontal and vertical component of this inclined force that is 600 newton force but its inclination is not given here <coughs> the theta it is not given okay the angle the inclination of 600 newton force is not given that we need to find okay to find that for to find this angle theta what i will do is i will draw one vertical here i'll draw one vertical one vertical i'll call these points as points a b c okay so in triangle obc it is a right angle triangle now from from right angled triangle obc if we measure cos 60 degree cos 60 is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent is BC hypotenuse length is BO that length is given as 6 meter okay that length is given as 6 meter it is given as 6 meter so it is BC by 6 meter therefore the length BC is equal to 6 cos 60 therefore by this you will get the length BC you will get it as uh, 3 meter 3 meter okay in the same rectangle triangle you measure sin 60 sin 60 is equal to opposite by adjacent means co divided by bo co divided by bo is 6 meter therefore co is equal to 6 sin 60 therefore co is equal to you will get it as a 5.196 5.196 meter okay now length bc is 3 meter now length bc is 3 meter and length co is 5.196 meter 196 meter okay now <coughs> you can take right angle triangle O A C or O C A and you can measure angle theta. Okay. And length A C will be equal to how much? 6 meter. Length A C is equal to length from figure. From figure length A C is equal to A B plus B C is equal to 3 plus 3. Therefore A C is equal to 6 meter. Okay, now you can measure the angle theta. Angle theta from right angle triangle OCA from right angle triangle OCA measure tan theta. Tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent. Opposite is 5.196. That is OC divided by or CO divided by AC. <laughs> C O divided by A C tan theta is equal to 5.196 is the C O length. A C length is 6 meter. Therefore, theta is equal to <coughs> tan inverse of 5.196 divided by 6. The angle that you get is 40.9 degrees. 40.9 degrees. Okay. Now, the angle theta is 40.9 degree. 
let me write the angle is 40.9 degree so whatever the angle uh, you have here the same angle will be there here 40.9 degree so you can write the components now horizontal component of 600 is 600 cos 40.9 vertical component 600 sin 40.9 <coughs> okay now you can find sigma fx therefore sigma fx sum of forces in x direction is equal to 1 force 800 out of force acting in right direction so plus 800 then uh, 600 cos 40.9 acting in left direction minus 600 cos 40.9 which gives sigma fx is equal to 346.48 newton 346.48 newton similarly sigma fi sum of forces in y direction is equal to there is only one force minus 600 sin 40.9 minus 600 sin 40.9 which gives minus 392.84 newton now we can find magnitude of the resultant force we know the formula Therefore, we know that R is equal to root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square. R is equal to root of sigma fx is the 346.48 square. Plus sigma fy 392.84 square. 84 square so by this we will get the magnitude of the resultant force as uh, 523.708 newton 523.708 newton okay to find angle of the resultant force we know the formula theta is equal to tan inverse of sigma fi by sigma fx this is the formula for direction of the resultant force is equal to tan inverse of sigma fi is 392.84 divided by 346.48 don't bother about the sign while finding the angle theta theta is equal to theta is equal to uh, it will be 48.58 degree 48.58 degree ok so <coughs> the Direction of the resultant force is 48.58 degree. Okay, so don't get confused with uh, the angle theta is equal to 40 degree. This this angle belongs to uh, the inclination of uh, uh, this uh, AO line. Okay, AO line. So here this is this theta 48.58 degree belongs to inclination of the resultant. Okay, so to this. Uh, uh, Solution of uh, this particular problem is over. Thank you.